Red snapper fishing along the Gulf Coast of Alabama is something that people look forward to every summer. Much like a family or class reunion, groups of friends and colleagues make sure to schedule their annual get-togethers around opening day. That's the case today with our group of anglers, and there's no better venue for them than Captain George Pfeiffer's Emerald Spirit. In George's own words, he creates memories for life and his family fun. Join us for a fun-filled, friendly competition to see who can catch the biggest snapper of the day. Captain George and his crew are ready to go and know just where to find the big ones. Let's go create some memories aboard the Emerald Spirit. Coming up next, right here on Gary Finch Outdoors. It was a beautiful morning as our crew began arriving at the marina, and even though our group had fished with Captain George before, it is always customary to lay some ground rules before leaving the dock. After signing in, our group gathered on deck for instructions and orientation. Good morning, everybody. I'm Captain George. This is my crew, Tom, Gabby, and Logan. We've got a couple newbies. Y'all know Tom. You've been with me before. we got some new people on here. And uh, there's a few things I need to tell you by law, like the life jackets are located inside the cabin of the vent seat. We got three life floats out front and a life ring up here. That's where all the life saving equipment is located. Uh, today's going to be a pretty good day. We got a strong north wind, uh, which is generally good and close to the beach. The further out we get, naturally, that ride out's easy. Turning around, coming back, it's a different ball game. So, how many people have done this before? It knows what we all pretty good at. All righty. <laughs> you just opened yourself up for a good cussing right there. <laughs> you know better. So. <coughs> Captain George guided the Emerald Spirit through Perdido Pass to the first drop. It was just a warm up to catch live bait. After catching live bait, we headed to the first spot where the snapper were hungry and biting. our energetic deckhands, Tom, Logan, and Gabby, very busy covering all the anglers along the railings of the spacious Emerald Spirit. set for the friendly Calcutta when the first fish to beat was landed. It wasn't long until more large snapper started coming in from both sides of the boat. Of course, you know, we're not out here that far. We're, of course, fishing on the Emerald Spirit. 
We've got Tom over here. We've got Captain George Pfeiffer. Uh, we've been fishing with George for several years, and any time that you want to come down here, I want to stress out that stress that recreational fishing is just on the weekends, but you got two months plus a little bit to be able to book seven days a week on your charter boat for so for a higher vessel don't wait around during the week book these boats come out here we'll have all the information for george and stuff and as you can see uh, we're not very far out and it's fish like that uh, is is second to none so we're having a good time the weather's a little rough today we're sort of waiting on to see what if it's going to lay down a little bit it may go further out but right now we're just uh, just warming everybody up. This is our first stop, and that's a st that's a great stop. All right, guys, don't bring them up. That's a good start. They'll run on down the line. The charter fleet along Alabama's Gulf Coast consists of some of the finest boats and captains in the world. Alabama has always been known for its red snapper charters, and that's how many offshore anglers are introduced to the state saltwater fishing. In this area, families and businesses create a history and establish a tradition of booking repeat trips with the same captains. Many of these charter and customer relationships date back to generations on either side. Charter boat fishing is much more than a boost to the local economy. Saltwater fishing off Alabama's coast brings millions of tourist dollars spent towards lodging, dining, and other associated expenses. Tax dollars are also generated for the state's development of new artificial reefs and continued research and management of our marine fisheries. Packages for offshore fishing vary in their offering and price. Walk-on trips are obviously the most economical and easiest to arrange. Private charters and overnight trips are the next level at which many anglers want to participate. At the very pinnacle of the sport is big game tournament fishing for the competition and opportunity to win placement and prizes. The amazing factor in all these different forms of fishing is that they can be all experienced without the angler ever owning a boat. With the proper information and arrangements, charter boat captains can supply any level of saltwater fishing. Charter boat fishing makes sense in so many different ways for the vacationing or special trip fishermen. It's the perfect service for those who still want to experience everything the Gulf has to offer without spending tons of money on licenses, tackle, or the expense of actually owning a boat. The action continued as Captain George put the Emerald Spirit over our next stop. Everyone was quick to resume their favorite spot on the rail. All right. careful to handle each catch so that those not deemed as keepers can safely return to fight another day. Having a good time. Oh, <laughs> 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 
While Logie was busy down the rail helping other anglers, I had a chance to talk to Mike Hale about what keeps them coming back to the Emerald Spirit year after year. We've been doing this for how long now? 10, 12 years? We work hard, so it's always a lot of fun to get together with a lot of uh, customers and some good friends now. And We've been doing it for so long, catch good food, and we really enjoy it and really enjoy getting together with you and Captain George and uh, catch some good snapper on this boat. Well, you know, one thing I found out is that, that I've learned with y'all is y'all, you know, we've worked hard putting the group together and y'all get the right people together. And once you do that, you really don't, you really want everybody to get together year after year because Everybody starts working together and everybody kind of know each other, yeah. know who can do what, and everybody knows know the routine. And we start throwing 25 inch snappers back, we know uh, we, we know what we're doing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. As the competition for biggest fish was getting closer, the pressure to bring in the winner was mounting. Sometimes the fish themselves have other ideas. But one man's loss is another one's gain. As we moved on to the last stop of the day, the seas and the wind had both calmed down to make for a beautiful afternoon out in the Gulf. Well, we're out here with the Emerald Spirit out of Sportsman's Marina with Captain George Pfeiffer. We got such a great group of guys out here. We've been doing this trip for the last, uh, I think, seven or eight years, and it's just, it's just wonderful. We have some out of North Wind. Uh, in the middle of June, which is not very, doesn't happen very often, but we slowly come out here. We're probably 30 miles off to the west, and the nice thing about it is the, the, the big ones are biting, and, and as we fish during the day, the uh, the winds lay down a little bit, so we won't have such a bad ride on the way home. If they were calling earlier, actually for five to six foot smooth, oh, there's a big fish there. Uh, five to six foot seas, you know, even, and we, we came out here and took our time. And uh, so we'll have a nice ride in. We probably got an average of, here, this is a big fish. Unless my bait just come off. <laughs> but that's the way it is. So come on out here and enjoy yourself. And remember, the rules on uh, a charter boat and private fishing are totally different. You got the weekends that you can fish and on the charter boats you've got all uh, two months or a little bit better than two months and so come out here enjoy yourself get some of these big red snapper you've seen them come in all day long and uh, it's just fantastic 
The action stayed steady all day long as each member of the group continued to bring in great quality red snapper. One last big fish would mark the end to a wonderful trip and point the Emerald Spirit home to Orange Beach, where everyone was anxious for the Calcutta Wave. We'll be right back with more Gary Finch Outdoors. Spirit returned to the dock. It was time for Tom to sort out who won catch of the day. That gave me a chance to talk to George about some information on this year's Red Snapper season. There's basically two groups. You've got your uh, private recreational sector, and then you've got the charter for hire sector. That's the charter boats and people like that that we fish. We get to fish seven days a week with a 61-day season. Uh, so, you know, we're open the, every day of the week. Now, the, the private sector only gets to fish Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. And unfortunately, it's been broadcast through the news and some other places uh, on Alabama this and Alabama that because it's an Alabama law. And so that's what they're saying is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, that's for the small boats, okay, not the charter for hire sector. So we get to fish seven days a week. We're federally registered vessels and all that. So, you know, we have the full sector of the, of the red snapper season, 61, 62 days, all the way through August 1st at midnight. And so, you know, we're seven days a week. And uh, that's for a couple of years now, that's been kind of misunderstood and a little confused. And we'd sure like to get that out there to people to let us know, you know, we're open all the time. Now, a lot of people come down, you know, and they find out that, uh, okay, we're staying at the beach. We're gonna go to the, to the zoo on Monday and, and, you know, the mall on Tuesday, but we can't go fishing on Wednesday and Thursday because it's closed. Now, that's not true. You know, you've got five days to be here on your vacation. You can go any day of the week. And so we really need to get that information out to them so that they can, you know, give us a call, let us get you registered up, get on one of the walk-ons. We do a four or six hour trip. The six hours of professional trip where we go out and catch lots of good fish. The four hour trip is an introduction into bottom fishing. 
you know, that's, that's for the beginners, basically. Right. So, but it's very, very affordable. Even the six hour trips, $100 a head, it's very affordable. So, you know, we create memories for life and it's family fun. We've got an online booking system where you can call us up and uh, you can basically see what days we have available and what trips are available, how many people are on each trip and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can book online with your credit card right then and there, instant booking kind of thing. We do all kinds of different kinds of fishing. You know, earlier in the, in the summer, before Red Snapper, we used two hook rigs with cut squid and we fished for vermilion snapper, trigger fish, uh, lane snapper, white snapper, all those other things. But during the red snapper season, we specifically target just the red snapper. The snappers we catch and keep, we're really selective about because we fish up high in the water for them. We keep what we catch, and we catch a lot of big ones. We catch a lot of big ones. As you know. <laughs> yeah. George, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming with me, thank Gary. You, I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. You're the best. To book your trip with Captain George Pfeiffer, visit his website or call the number on your screen. That's our show for this week. We'll see you next week right here on Gary Fitch Outdoors.